What up, party peeps? It's me. I know, are these glasses gorgeous? They actually make my head look so big, so I'm gonna take them off. Yikes. What up? Welcome back. Today I'm coming at you with some tips. <laughs> because why not? Why not? It's how to survive high school, obviously. Because I just finished high school and suck it. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Um, high school, four years, 689 days, apparently, of actual school, not just in general, because that'd be two years of, like, real, yeah, we'll, we'll skip over that, that's math. <laughs> but, um, tips for, you know, making high school fly by instead of, you know, like, slowly go like that. Um, get involved, obviously, because when you're not involved, it sucks. I'm kidding, no one does it. I mean, get involved is really fun. I loved getting involved in high school because I made more friends. I was active. I got cool chords when I was done. I'm kidding, no, that's not the re reason why I got involved. It's obviously to make friends, have fun, make high school kind of fly by. Um, also in high school, stay on top of your homework, get good grades. If good grades aren't A's for you, get you know get those grades that will help you pass. That is a good grade, not an A and B. It's whatever helps you pass. That's a good grade to you. Um, obviously, stay up to date with your teachers. Like, go in, ask for help. That's something I wish I had. Like, obviously, learned a little bit earlier instead of like my junior year, because that's kind of like flying by my freshman and sophomore year. Obviously, junior year I learned to like go see my teachers more often and get better grades. I'm getting annoyed, but I did well freshman and sophomore year. Obviously junior year is kind of like hell year, so I learned to talk to my teachers more and get help when I needed it. Um, if you want to take AP tests in high school and that's like your path or something or concurrent credit, which is like through a local college or something, obviously do that if you're down for it, if you're down for like the nitty gritty work of it. Um, if you're going to take AP classes, take something that you're interested in, obviously, and you're doing, that you think you're going to do well at, also. For me, taking AP Calc probably wasn't the brightest idea, but I did learn a lot. And I'm so thankful I took that class, even though I didn't take it for the test or anything. <laughs> I just took it so I could, you know, absorb. But I did take, um, A Push, AP Go, <laughs> god, I'm thinking a long time to think of these, AP Lit, AP Lang. If you're European, I'm missing one. Okay. AP Cal kind of counts. Um, so it's like six AP classes in my years. You know, I'm old. Obviously take those if you're down for them. I also took honors classes. So like if you want to be more accelerated in what you're doing, take those. They're kind of worth it in the long shot. If you're kind of struggling in a different class, kind of help in a weird way, boost your GP. It's kind of weird, it's kind of weird, trust me, it looks weird too. But those classes do help you for your future. And even though they're kind of like, eh, AP classes, like don't want to take them, they're very beneficial. And I promise you, you learn a lot. And sometimes they're kind of similar to the regular class. And if you're bored in the regular class, obviously take the AP or the honors, it's worth it. As for social sciences, cause I just want to bring that up, <laughs> tips and tricks. Take social sciences. They're actually super fun and they're worth it. Like sociology, like a bomb class. Like take that class, it's worth it. <laughs> um, same with the arts, take an arts. It will totally change your view, I think, on society in general. It's really fun. Take like a class, like an elective, instead of like leaving it open for like a study hall. I mean like if you need a study hall, take the study hall. But like if you have an option, like me in my senior year, I like an open block, <laughs> me. So I took another art, like elective class, like the arts, not like art in general, because I'm, I'm bad at art. But um, take something you think is gonna be fun, can fill your time. I know it might be like stupid in people's words to be like, oh, you're wasting your time taking another class, but it's not, it's beneficial for you. College is like seeing it on your resume that you had a full schedule instead of like, chunk of your knees because they're like doing for your time that's stupid 
obviously it's beneficial to take full schedules even though sometimes you might want to not take full schedules if your like high school offers like at my school it's called caps it's like the career path kind of thing where you get to like go off and do stuff in the field do that if you don't want to take a real class at school but like obviously try and fill your schedule it's worth it um what other tips and tricks am I gonna give you um stay organized buy a planner worth it worth it you know don't turn shit in late because that sucks um you know have fun while you're in high school not too much fun no but like have fun live your life make friends enjoy people because this is like your last hoorah before you become like an adult and go off and see the world and try and like study stuff like where you want to be about all your like friends I mean you're gonna make friends in college like that that was really stupid to say but like it's like your last hoorah of all your friends before you like part ways and so obviously have fun while you're at it so yeah high school might suck it sometimes but it's a lot more fun when you make it fun so obviously get involved fill your class schedule obviously it might suck but do it AP tests if you're down for them slash AP classes obviously have fun so yeah see you guys later and uh stay in school bye